Hey everyone, today we will talk about counterintuitive things women do that turn men off. These are points I extracted from women I have consulted and I thought that they could be beneficial to many of you. One of the first things I want to highlight here is misunderstanding the man's behavior. You start interacting with a man and his behavior and kindness with you makes you start to think that he has some kind of interest towards you. I received a case like that. A Muslim woman, she goes to work and it is mixed men and women. And there was this guy who is Arab and also Muslim. But this guy used to come in the morning while passing by her desk, put a chocolate or a candy and then go to his desk. And these things kept repeating. On the lunch break, he would pass by her desk, have a chat with her, and before leaving the office, he would make sure to say goodbye. And she said that their work was not connected in any way or form. They were both in two different departments. So in her mind, she interpreted that the man is interested in her. And thus, she also started to be interested in him. A man coming all the time, giving you candies, buying you things, chatting with you, saying goodbye before leaving. She started to have feelings for the man. But then she started also to follow and see what he's doing. And she realized that it's not only with her that he's doing this thing. And one day she went to her colleague's office and she saw him speaking with a lady there. They both had coffee from Starbucks. Everyone was having the Starbucks of the other one. Because you know Starbucks, they write the name on the cup. So he had her colleague's uh, Starbucks and she had his Starbucks like they had they had exchanged the Starbucks somehow and so she felt jealous she said that she she felt a stomach ache and she 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 felt heartbroken and she felt that she was deceived while the man didn't tell her anything he was just being kind with her and even though it's not correct because she said we are Muslims he is Muslim I am Muslim and why would he come and reach out to me and and speak to me and buy me candies and and greet me before going home and I'm not working with him in the same department why would he do that he knows I'm Muslim I'm a Muslim woman and he is also Muslim so why would he do that the problem here is that this lady is not very familiar with men some men would treat everyone like that they are they could be even flirty with everyone even with an old lady who's cleaning the building they would flirt with her they have flirty personality the same way women can flirt with every man just because she wants to be the center of attention so this is the first mistake in our list misreading the man's intention if she had not stuck to her beliefs that no arab man wouldn't do that wouldn't speak with women because they know that they cannot speak with women or they would not buy her things because they know she's Muslim and he is Muslim. If she would analyze how he treated others and how he went from one office to another office and how instead of buying one candy, he bought five candies and he distributed five candies to five women in the office, she would know that it's not about her. This man is just like that. He's trying to get the attention of the woman in the office. Maybe he wants to be Uh, loved by everyone maybe he wants to establish connections with everyone in different departments who knows and who cares the man is greeting you every morning buying you chocolates or candies and greeting you also before he leaves home he initiates always conversations with you you can understand that this man may have something may feel something towards you But before you come to this conclusion, analyze how this man is treating others. But you fall into the trap of this personality when you analyze how this man treats other women and you feel that you need to catch him before other women catch him. You are trapped by his personality and you are also trapped by what he's doing to other women. You think that if you don't catch him, other women would catch him. And if this is the man's plan, you don't want to give him what he wants. The best course of action in this case is to care less. Consider him as another female friend that you have in the office. He's too chatty with women, then consider him another woman. And forget about, yeah, he's Muslim, he's not supposed to do this, he's not supposed to do that, because she was telling me, he's not supposed to do that, we are Muslims. And when we are Muslims, we know that there are boundaries. Normally, we should only greet each other from distance, and that's it. If he was non-Muslim, I would understand. But if he is Muslim, and he's too chatty with me, then it's normal for me to understand that he wants something from me. It shouldn't be always that way. So the next mistake that this woman did, she confronted the man. She started to speak about both of them as if they were something. And she pressured him to have something because she said, I needed to speak with him because I don't want to be waiting for him. I have to see if I can maybe establish another relationship with someone else. Even if she had no one in hand, but she, she just said like, I want to know where I am standing. If he has some interest in me, 
he has to tell me. And if he doesn't, okay, I don't care. Well, she obviously cared, but she says that she doesn't care. And that, that's normal. I, I completely understand. We say we don't care, but we, we actually care. Otherwise, we wouldn't come to this man and, and say, what are we? Or start to talk about us as if we were something. Because this woman is pressuring him and telling him, no, like, I, I want you to know what are we so that, you know, I don't want to sp- waste my time. And if, he, if we are not uh, going to have anything or if it's nothing serious, like, you, you should not say if it's nothing serious because there is no thing there. There is nothing there. And then the man, even if he had a chance to entertain having something with this woman, this turned him off because she is making him or she's pressuring him to choose between A and B, between her and someone else or something else or his career. But she's not sure that this man has some feelings towards her. All she knows is that she wants to secure this man. And the way he's behaving, the way he's talking to other women makes her unstable. And that's a reaction. This is an emotional reaction that she did with this man. And so she didn't know what strategy to use. And she wanted to have a relief. She chose the shortest way and the impatient way. She went up to him and started to give him options. And this obviously turned the man off. He told her that no, he never thought about her that way. That he considers her as a friend. And then the the woman had heartbreak. She said that she couldn't eat for a couple of weeks. So you, you, you have to analyze the person before having ideas about the person. And she started to say, no, he should not do this. He should not do that. He's, no, he, he's Muslim. He's, he's, he's this, he's that. But you know, you cannot control what other people do. You can only control how you react to what they do. If I go and approach a woman, And then she rejects me. I cannot blame her for smiling at me. I chose to go and approach her. I chose to interpret her smile as something. I could smile at her back and then ignore her. And the same way this woman could do with this man. You're being kind. I can be kind with you. No problem. Or you can be kind with me. And I can be just superficial with you. Very superficial. I will not loosen up very fast because you started to give me things and you started to treat me well. You treat me well, you speak with me, we have a chit chat, we work together in the same building, no problem. But things will be superficial. I cannot go too personal with you because I think we are already something. So don't tell yourself, I have opened up myself for him. We spoke about a lot of things, we spoke about our families, we spoke about this, we spoke about that. So because I thought we already were something. No, if you if this is a, a prerequisite for you that you wouldn't you wouldn't discuss personal things unless the person means something to you, then you would have to be patient. Be more patient until the man becomes more direct about what you mean to him. Because if you pressure the man or give him an ultimatum and he has no feelings towards you, he would just tell you good luck. And trust me, even if he would entertain having something with you. This behavior would only turn him off, especially if you are Muslim and the man is Muslim. In our culture, we know that it's not you who approach the man. The man will come and approach you if he is interested. And that's why we say, if the woman is virgin, you don't have to hear her saying that she accepts the man that proposed to her. Because normally she is shy. So you see women speaking and maybe you you took this from some series that you watch or or from the culture that you live in but normally a shy woman wouldn't go to the man and start telling him so what are we why you came and why you bought me chocolates every day and why you are arab you you shouldn't be doing this you you know that in our tradition we don't do that you know that you're not supposed to speak to women at all no that shows that you're not mature enough that you're not responsible about how you misinterpret the the situations around you you cannot control you cannot give people lessons about how they should behave and what they should do and what they should not do so this is this is a huge mistake another mistake that i extracted from this case is you have an argument with the man and okay you decide both of you that you're all going to be just friends or that okay i just wanted to clear things up And I needed to ask you these questions. And the man gave you the questions that you didn't want to hear. And you're still mad. 
And before leaving the, the office or before leaving the place where you both were standing and talking, you just tell him and throw the word at him that you had, a fee- you had feelings towards him, that you liked him or that you loved him. You think that by telling him that, you know, I loved you, but you know, I don't regret this. You start to give him the, the feelings that you held or you kept a secret to yourself. You start giving him these, you start expressing these feelings when you are leaving the, or when you are, when you are ending the argument. Because you expect that when you say this thing, he will feel guilty and you would still get him back. But that's, that's counterintuitive. When you tell a man like that, oh, you know, I liked you, I loved you, but you don't love me. Okay, no problem, no problem. And you leave. You think that he will feel guilty. This is, this is playing with guilt. You should never tell him something like that. And the same also, we know that a lot of women are like that. If we are in, in, in a Western country or in a place where it is, then it's normal for women to be flirty with with men we know that it's not it's not about us she she's not just interested in us she's married maybe sometimes she is married so what she's just she has a, a personality she she wants to be the center of attention you find women on social media they are married and they post they they post things on on the internet to to get likes to to be the center of the attention and this is just transformed from real life to social media. But this thing still exists in, in real life. Some people have less success in social media because their personality is not, is not fully displayed on, on social media. They cannot display themselves fully on social media. And so they are more successful in real life. So they, chose to, so they, choose, so they choose to be on real life the same way as some models and some married women do on Instagram and on Facebook and other social media platforms. So never try to confess and express your feelings as a way to save something that wasn't there in the first place, because this won't work. You can end up things on a better note than this, especially if you meet this person in real life. If it was on the internet, you could just block him and he's out of your life. But if it's in real life, it's not good for your image. And men of this kind usually talk with other men. So stay patient, stay in your, in your place. Someone is talking to you. He is Muslim. He's not Muslim. You don't care. You have your, your own system. You have your own beliefs. You cannot control what they do, but you control how you react to what they do. Okay, so that's another mistake from this case. And there is one more uh, mistake. I think I already spoke about it because this is all from the top of my head is asking, what are we? You never ask this question. Never ask it. Instead, what you do, you consider all the time, every time that you are nothing. Let the man prove that you are something all the time. This is the best way. Don't ask what are we. Especially if the man did not ask your father about you or something. You're just seeing this man in your workspace or in the fitness or whatever the place is. And you start to say, mm, what are we? He does this. He smiles at me. He, 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 he asked for my number from my friend. As I said, keep everything to the man. Regardless of his origin, regardless of where he's from, what he should do, what you think he should do, regardless of anything, leave it to the man. When you ask, what are we? It's like you want to put a label on on the thing you have, you both have, that is not there and that shouldn't be there. Because if if it should be there, you would already know what are you. But you're trying to be somehow something that the man is still not ready for it. Or you're just fearing that the man is slipping away and you want to secure him. Don't ask these questions. Leave it to the man. And consider always that you are nothing. And let him prove that you are something and that he has some feelings towards you. All right, so these are mistakes I have extracted from a recent case that I received. And I thought that you would all get benefit from.